That's not what we do first. Hit it, Logan. <laughs> it's After Hours with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of their extracurricular activities. Enjoy. This week on After Hours with Mariah and Ty. Morning Wood. You're the one who's always doing the tanning bed. I don't know why you do that. I You're like, cancer, doing... I want it. We call it Pooh Island in our house. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> like the man on the front, I pitched a tent over it. It was great. Tent wow, was great. dirty. It was good. You're like, I can watch this interactive screen, but I can't read a book. I don't know I what it is. Sick. You're lucky to be working at 14. Episode 57, we did it! Why is that we did it? It should have been like episode 60. Like, we've did it. Like, this is an odd. Uh, well, we had a long week for me personally. It's only Tuesday, so. Yeah, this is life, though, you know? Life comes at you fast. <laughs> We got the soundboard back, Mariah's favorite, uh, and uh, we got some beers as well. Uh, Hi, this is going to be a long week for you because you're going on vacation. Sorry, not to skip over our beers, I just realized. Let's talk about the beers first. Um, Morning Wood. I went and got these. Thanks. I love the artwork. It's got a man in a tent. Sam, how much were these? I paid for them. Give me a little rundown here. Were they $40? Oh, brood in Innisfail, oh, I gave Alberta. you my I gave you my debit this time, which is dicey. I didn't know if she was gonna go through or not. Oh, thanks. Sam, are you on mic four? Oh. I am on mic four. You did not tell me that until just now. Oh no. You're lucky I looked back. It's fine. It's fine. Let oh, me just crank no. it up. Leave it in. We'll du- we'll dub it in. Leave it in. Leave it in. I do like an amber ale. Anyway, uh my point there's a man pitching a tent on the artwork. It's great. It's awesome. Love me an amber ale. I've what been to this brewery. I had a, a sweater. It's now my girlfriend's sweater. Uh, oh, she shrunk it. So it's good though. This tastes like coffee in a beer. No, I like nice. that. Um, yeah, it's cool. I like the artwork the best. <laughs> You're like the drink. Eh, the artwork great. <laughs> it's Brittany, bitch. Uh, oh. so episode fifty-seven is here. We're back for our hundreds of listeners we can say that now what do you mean 101 <laughs> yeah 101 exactly no no we did do the math and it, it, it's it's surprising that people spend that much time with us but oh, they so do it's not 101 i thought it was i thought no, that it's was more the joke. than 101 oh, okay. it's actually spotify's over 101 on its own so damn that's okay. pretty cool look at that so well, that's exciting um you were saying i looked shitty though mariah <laughs> after we just had a very long day of work together <laughs> no. and we've worked some long days together before yeah we have um and i've I, never said that to you at the end of i don't want to be like a little bitch about it because our long days are like nine hours like there's some people out there that are pulling 14s okay yeah, so it's not that bad we should really shut the fuck up but it is long <laughs> It is long sometimes when you're just talking. It's a mental staring at a computer. Yeah, I'm it's pissed like a now. type of tired. Um, but no, I I always like do my makeup. Sometimes I go more intense on the pod. You know, I've had some fucking looks. They have served. I was looking back at a couple episodes. I'm like, man, some days I look like this. But I thought I always got my makeup on me. Why the hell am I not doing up your face for you a little bit more? I mean, sometimes I don't know you, why look, you don't. You right some, now, I, I definitely some, look hangry because I've been growing the beard out because uh, I trimmed it a little too low. I wasn't talking about your beard. I know, I know. Just in general, oh. though. Like, so my hair's been long, so I've been wearing toques. Beard's growing out. I'm tired because I'm stressed. Yeah, yeah. It's I, winter time though. Nobody's I've got a tan. Better. I'm going to be trimming this down for my vacation. Getting yeah. a haircut on Thursday. You should get a spray tan for your vacation. You'd look so good. Better than you do now. Just saying. If me and Sam and Matt Barry all go get a spray tan, I'll do it. Because I think that's that'd be You funny. don't have to get it so you're like Jersey Shore. You can get it so that you're like just lightly glowed. You got a Jersey Shore it if you're going to do it. <laughs> Maybe I some spaghetti. About. So fun fact, guys. When I was in high school, before my graduation, I got a spray tan on the advice of my high school girlfriend. Really? Yeah. And okay. you guys have seen how pale I am. I've always been that pale. So any type of spray tan, make, like at my level of whiteness, makes you instantly look like orange. Mm. Man, all my grad photos are great. I'll I'll flash one here. It's it's just ten out of ten. It's I awesome. Would, I would like to see that. Um, it's awesome. Spray tan can be a dicey thing, but it can also be good. You know. But I've been looking tired. Been looking haggard. I know. I'm sure I've the spray better. tan will help with yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. You know? I'll go get that spray tan. I got time in my. You should. You, you could probably that. comp one for free from work. I bet you we got some great spray tan clients that, that are uh, you know involved. But, Ty, if um, you if you go, I'll go do it with you. 
You're making it sound like it's a bad Before, thing. After. Spray tans, they've come a long ways, okay? Guess, yeah, maybe the, the, maybe tanning beds are probably worse. You're the one who's always doing the tanning bed. I don't know why you do that. I You're like, cancer, I want it. I a tanning bed for years. I go maybe once every three years before a vacation, very briefly. I haven't gone in a long time. I have a Fabutan minutes that are unused. They never expire. It's a great thing. Sorry, a little Fabutan plug, but they're, they're, uh, they're great. You're like, I love it. <laughs> I'm like, let's get those spray Do that spray, spray tan time. Um, anyways, though, we're talking about spray tans because you're going to Palm Springs and your flights got canceled, you poor bitch. Now you got to drive your ass there. Oh. That's actually uh, insane. Yeah, it sucks. So Lynx Air is a former fucking travel agency. Uh, <laughs> former and uh, yeah they just cancelled their flights and said good luck buddy good luck pal I just don't understand why there was not a plan like I know you guys are traveling to like Palm Springs but what about some people who had like bigger flights booked like what if they were going I don't know where the fuck Lynx flies or wherever but I mean like what if the flight you what you spent a couple hundred bucks on your flights like what about the people who spend the two grand on their flights that's what it would have been like now and I'm like well that's great so uh, we're making a drive. We're doing a road trip. Uh, Get ready to fight in the car a lot. Because oh, ah! That's exactly what's going to happen. That's <laughs> what happens in, in road trips. But And just Dude. like planning that is so stressful. And then just my brother's going through things. Everything hits at once. It's great. It's when it rains, fun. it pours. Yeah. So, I mean, we have like a spare beer here today, right? <laughs> Uh, drink Maybe that. I'll snag Sorry, that. Sorry, I didn't mean to say two. you don't look shit. You I just... feel like it. I feel like I'd look <laughs> shitty. Like I've been looking in the mirror and I'm like, this is a great time to go on vacation. You're like, you this is you know 30. I'll, I'll say this though. This is also the time where everybody starts to get really fucking sick of the weather. Like it's February. We're done with this bullshit. It's been the up and down of the tricking you into thinking it's spring. Then boom, all of a sudden snowstorm. It's like, man, I did not want to worry about driving on the highway with shitty weather anymore. Like, I just am over it. I'm ready to stop feeling pasty and ashy, and I just want summertime. I want my yard to not have melted dog shit in it. Like, I just, I'm ready, you know, for better times. You better love weather. the melted dog shit. I do not, yard. like, we call it Pooh Island in our house. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, the thing that sucks is nothing's going right. Like I said, I have to do this road trip. Road trip's are fun for some people. My girlfriend really likes it, so I'm trying to lean into it. Another example of the bad luck, just to lay into it, I was like, I'm going to get back into playing rugby again. You know, I haven't played since I was about 25, 26 maybe. A decade ago. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I swear to you, I hurt myself just stopping. Just stopping running at Those one old point. old bones are just like, not working for well, you, I used hey? to go for runs, but I guess I never went for – I haven't gone for a sprint in a while is what I've learned, and I felt like my quad tore. I was to like – to be fair, the most active I've ever seen you is going up the stairs to get a Diet Coke. <laughs> what about the rollerblade? Uh, that was like once. And I don't even know if I was working here. Well, I'll, I'll say this. <laughs> I think that it, it's not that you're like an inactive person, but I noticed that myself even physically, I had a pristine self-care weekend, okay? I went to bed at 10.30 p.m. on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, I didn't do anything. I had one glass of wine. I was in my nice Tempur-Pedic bed. I woke up at 7 a.m. I woke up from a relaxed weekend. I still hurt. I felt oh hungover from doing dick all. I was like, my back fucking hurts. You were like, I'm going to have a glass of wine, read my smut, and go to bed. 100%. That's Self-care. Exactly what you did. At its finest. I put my silicone patches on my face, you know? And then I woke up and I was like, my back. Like, you wouldn't think I did a hike or something. Ryan, how old are you? How old am I? Yeah. She's 28. 28. Okay, so do you want to hear the the weekend of a twenty five year old, buddy? Twenty five. You go to a was bar a again and feel sad. So I went to a concert. Oh. I went to a concert. Ice Cubity Cube. Right? Ice Cubity Cube. Very fun. And then on Saturday went to two different birthday parties and was out until like two in the morning. Wow. I would much rather be doing what you're doing, buddy. I'm telling you, when I was twenty five, so that was a year of. Of doing a lot of that. Twenty five was a fun year, Sam. Twenty five was a great year. Twenty six. We were just talking about this today. Remember? Twenty six is like when it starts to get sad. It starts to go downhill. Sad. Twenty six is when you have an awakening. You're like shit. By the way, guys, my birthday's next month. Twenty six. There you go. Party it out before then, because twenty six. I my my twenty fifth birthday. I was partying on a boat in Kelowna. Okay, being a ratchet. 
And then my 26th birthday, I had a backyard barbecue with some friends. We all got uh, cranked. You were there. You got cranked. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did. And I felt old. <laughs> it was a we good time. We were hanging out yeah. with all these 25 year olds. I feel you ancient. Did. Yeah, that was good. Remember you that? You like me and like two of my other friends because I was too old. No, you weren't. You're only two years older than me. It was good. It was a good time, but it, it's a different. You transition. Like you're still happy with like kind of getting fucked up a little bit, but. You're in your own home. So and I will say, Sam, home. the good news is, like, it's now the third week back at rugby, and I don't feel sore after. Your knees don't great. hurt anymore? No, I'm sure once we get back to tackling, I'm going to be like, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. You got the Medi tape like, in your back pocket. Oh, You're like, better God. tape the knees. I should get some. So, Ty, what's your, uh, what's your go-to diffuser on a road trip if you do start to, like, argue with your partner? Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I do. That's not We it. have a rule. We just turn up the volume. Like, you know, when it gets busy in the studio here, me and you do that. We just crank the volume and we hope people get the message to get the fuck out. Um, you lock the door? Yeah. In the car, when I don't want to talk, I just, one of these, just. Headphones? Sh- no, I, I, I just turn. Yeah, she puts her headphones on. That, while I'm driving. She puts on a movie. Just starts driving. Dude, that, that, happened, to that happened to me with an ex-girlfriend. It oh. was awkward. I was like, hey, what's going on? No answer. Headphones. Could hear the music out of the headphones. It's fine. Good move. It's like, good this move. is good. This is great. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the road trip will be fine. I got the dog. You got to get good snacks. You are bringing your dog? Yeah. Sam, you don't got to watch the what dog What about the anymore. wedding? What are you doing? We have a pet-friendly hotel. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, you edgy bitch. You're going to fit in there. And I think he would rather be with us in warm weather than Palm cold Springs weather. Palm Springs is like a land that of the is... bitches with chihuahuas and bags, so you'll like fill in. We'll probably see his old family there, so it'll be great. Uh, but that just sucks. It's just stress to have to plan that out. Hey, and you know like, what? Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, like, me and my girlfriend plan things out differently. Yeah. And that's fine. And I'm just the one who likes to adapt and just not fight against it. So I'm sure it'll be all right. You know what? Right. Bit of perspective, because I bitch too. I'm like, oh, vacations. You, there's so much work to plan. But I'm like, hey, at least we get, like, vacation days. That's true. Like, you know what? Like, my fiance, he don't get no vacation days. If he doesn't, if he wants to go on vacation, it's called he just doesn't get paid. And he takes the time off. He doesn't get paid for vacation? No. Damn. Wow. Okay. Our job's pretty sick. Though. So it's like, you know, it is good. So what's the one road trip thing I have to bring? Spits. Spits? What am I spitting on the floor of my girlfriend's car? What are you, an amateur? Get a fucking water bottle. Spit oh them into God, the Oh my God, but it just smells like spits. Red it's Solo fine. cup. You just throw them out later. Um, is that what I have to bring? A you cup? should get that. Red Solo cup for the spits. You need a pillow. You need... I like to have a plethora of different drinks. I like to have a hot coffee, an iced coffee... An energy drink. A lukewarm a coffee. Warm, a vitamin water. An Arizona iced tea. A and solid frozen coffee. A regular water. A couple of morning woods for the road. Whoa. Maybe I'll shotgun one before we start going. Why not? <laughs> Why not? A couple wobbly pops on the road. Jeez. Um, my pick, if, are you the driver or are you the passenger? <laughs> You're like wobbly pops and drive. Good idea. <laughs> uh, we, we'll switch off. You know what I just okay. realized too? When you switch Next off. Next week I won't even be on the podcast. Whoa, Shit, is it going to be do? a me and Mariah I haven't pod? missed one in a while. I think while. Matt Barry's supposed to come on, too. Why does he come on when I'm gone? Dude, but next, if you're gone, it's like Todd Rodman is who I get. Next next week is going to be like a 70-minute podcast or if it's the three of us. Or we could have producer Logan on again, the two producers and me. We've um, never done that. Um, Ty, here's my vote. You bring like a handheld gaming device. Oh, when yeah. You're a passenger. I was thinking about bringing you, my tablet and doing some art You can or borrow something. my Game Boy if you want. Maybe I'll see if Mr. Bunce wants to come Maybe. on the other Tyler. <gasps> Maybe I'll borrow Sam's Game Boy. I have a Nintendo DS. I just got no games. Hey, here's a thunk. Why don't you read a fucking book? Yeah, no, that's also an that's option, Mariah, but... I can't read books in cars. That's why Wait, I don't... You can play a game? You <laughs> You're like, I can watch this interactive screen, but I can't read a book. I don't know I what it is. Sick. It might be because like, when I read a book, I'm sitting like... this. What do you mean? I Because I, I, I have to hold the book with my knees it's to make heavy. it... He's reading an no, encyclopedia. Because if I hold it up, it shakes, and you then I can't I'm read hearing, it. You know what I'm hearing, Sam? Excuses. I am pretty shit at reading. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Jesus All right, Christ. well, we've been talking long enough. we got to get on to the next segment. Flip those cameras. After Hours with Mariah and Ty. It's like their radio show, but in podcast form. And we're back, and it's uh, very exciting because, Mariah, we're going to do one of your favorite things. <laughs> Family Feud. 
Everyone was on vacation. <laughs> Mariah and I had to do the podcast alone, solo, oh, we no did producers. Was family feud. It was so fun. And Mariah loved it so much that we said, next time we're in the studio, we'll play Family Feud. We forgot last week, so we're going to do it again. So, and how we, does this work? Uh, so, we play Family Feud. We're all on a team together. Oh. And we shout out the answers. I think we'll play three rounds of it, I'm guessing. Oh, it's so fun, Sam. Um, I hope the volume on this is okay. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to quickly check, and then we'll get into it, okay? Okay. Get that cranked up. Here we go. Uh, why'd you cut it? I was just checking the volume. This could be too loud. Oh, yeah, the volume looks okay. All right, name something parents are always telling children they're lucky to have. Food. A dad. Yes. Yeah. Oh Close. My gosh. No. A home. A roof over their heads. Home. Friends. Oh. Shit. Parents. I don't know. Oh, I guess dad. We already did parents. Yeah. Um. Uh, love. <laughs> love. Are you Try sure? Ah. Oh. Uh, um, an education. I don't oh know. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good one job what the fuck they're like you're lucky to be working at 14 <laughs> okay what was six and five or do we get we, we don't know yet we're oh, waiting okay, we got 15 okay, okay, seconds okay. Here, Sam. Uh, um uh, we said already a place to live teeth uh, good teeth good teeth good, good teeth. smile good smile no a smile we're losing points now. oh god just... hell oh, hey! <laughs> it was toys I guess. It sounds a little privileged, though. <laughs> like, okay, you know, that was good. That was we good. We beat the computer. Okay. We beat the computer. Okay, let's go. Let's we go. have to go to the next round. Are you guys ready for the next round? I love round? it. Let's I love it. this shit. All right. I think the levels were good. I hope the audio sounds good. We don't have Logan here, everybody. Next question. Next round. This is round two. Double points. The running of the bulls is dangerous. The running of what kind of animal wouldn't be? Dogs. Kittens. Um, yeah. Butterflies? <laughs> That's a bug, but sure, I'll try. Um, oh, you said puppies? Hamster. What? Um, gerbil. That's probably wrong. Don't do gerbil. Oh, yeah, no. Shit. The running of... Snakes? Snakes are venomous, but sure. <gasps> wow. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, Snakes? Uh, Rabbits? Not... Bunnies. Yeah, bunnies. Nice. What else is cuddly? Um. What is cuddly? Like bird, like chicks. I don't know. Chickens. Well. Okay, Matt Berry coming Matt in. Matt Berry's trying Matt to Barry. come in while we're playing Family come in. Feud. Come this in. is insane. Come in. He's not come even in. offering up an answer. Matt, you didn't even give us an answer for Matt, Family Feud stay here. For an epi uh, a quick round of Family Feud. Get on the mic for a second. No, come on in. He's like, I gotta go. Okay. He's, he says his dog is waiting. Matt says his. What does it think look like we're doing? Talking to the mic. Because <laughs> we're focused Make on guess family the feud. Matt, do one family feud. You got ten seconds. Come on. Do yeah, a fast on. money round with us. Get on that microphone over there. No, I'm gonna share yours. Okay, Matt Berry's <laughs> gonna do fast money Let's with go. me. Let's go. Okay, ready? Do I have to close my eyes. No, no, no. It's oh, fast okay. money. Oh, it's triple points. <laughs> okay. So cool. Name someone a person might confess a crime to you. A cop? No, they would priest. confess a what? Priest. Oh, oh yeah, priest? Uh, they're spouse. They're priest? What? Their spouse, yeah. Spouse. Teacher. Their dog. Dog, Matt says. No. Wow. Uh, children? Um, oh, brother. What did you say? Children. Friend, 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 friend. <laughs> Don't confess a crime to your child. Well, yeah! Oh, friend, we got it. Wait, was that child or friend? It was friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, son, I got some bad news to tell you. Oh Daddy robbed a bank. All right, Matt Barry, hey! everybody. Still works. Still has Guest <laughs> appearance. He's here. All 
All right, fast money round. You guys are ready. Oh, let's I do love it. fast money round. All right, name something of yours you you regret not shopping around for before getting it. Ooh, um. House. Yeah. Car. Oh no! Wait, wait. Name something about Abraham Lincoln that was long. His beard. Beard. Hat. What? Oh. When you get to a party, what's the first thing you check out? Drinks? Bathroom. Drinks. <laughs> Besides a fish, name something you might find at the end of a fishing line. Hook. Hook. Name a creature an exterminator has nightmares about being 60 feet tall. Cockroach. Oh. All right, that's our fast money, everyone. House. 13 points. Car and truck was one. Beard. Beard, 35. Yeah. Nice. Drinks. People in their clothes was number one. Hook. Bait and lure. Cockroach. Number one. Oof. 145 Is points. It? Is that it? Let's go. Do we get another one? Uh, I think we won that game. We beat that guy. That's all? Computer. We can play case. one more. Let's play one more. Let's do it. Let's do one more family feud, and then we'll get into the Hall of Fame results. All right. It's got to reload the entire game, apparently. <laughs> I would love if it reloaded and it was the same questions all over again. That would be wonderful. Ooh. It's possible. Okay, we're playing Two Lennon. All right. Here we go. Tell me a gift your company might give you when you retire. A pen. I put watch. Pen? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, like wine? Liquor? No. Plaque? Yeah. Oh. There's only one left. Gift card? Like. <laughs> 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 Briefcase? No, that means you're no. doing more work. Um, um, like, I don't know. Cufflink? Cufflink? Maybe. I feel like nobody gets gifts for retiring anymore. Uh, a bonus? That would be nice. No. Okay, we can't get any more wrong. Okay, then fuck it. Uh, what else do you get when you retire? A nice pair of slacks? Golf clubs? <laughs> I mean, you could try it. Mariah, what the hell? Golf clubs? <laughs> Um. No, I think we gotta scotch. We already tried liquor. liquor. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna go. No, you tried wine. It would have. It would have taken it, Sam. Let's see what number two was. Pension or money? I said bonus. That's money. I guess a pension's not a bonus. We still beat him by ten points. This guy. <laughs> you work your whole life for a pension. It's like. All right, next round. Yeah. Double points. Name an invention that has brought people closer together. Bones. The couch. FaceTime. Oh. <laughs> couch. Couch. Um, the, uh, like the telephone? We already did phone. That's oh. number yeah. one. Um, uh, what about, um, oh, brought people closer together? I think you should leave the show. No. Uh, TV? Brought me and Ty closer together. TV works! Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you bond over uh, TV shows. Like music? Actually, yeah, that's a good one. That's not an invention. That's just the thing. Right. He got the second one. Um, God damn it. Cars? You have to drive with people. <laughs> I don't think that's... Cars! Holy shit! <laughs> uh, games. Oh. Fuck! Um, like restaurants? Restaurant. Nope, I spelled it wrong also. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's try liquor. <laughs> Thought booze would have been you up there. You know what brings me together with Pets? my friends? No! Pets also earned an invention. It was internet. Yeah, Sorry. I feel like that was an L on Ladies our part Ladies and gentlemen, we've that. invented a dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's now beating us, guys. We have to win gonna, round we three. Can't, we're going to get our shit together. Name something you might take with you when you go to the bathroom. Phone. Toilet Newspaper. paper. Toilet paper. And newspaper. Magazine. Magazine. Okay. A book, um, book was also there. Air freshener, like spray. Air freshener? <laughs> well, like, you know what I'm saying. Wait, uh, Game Boy. <laughs> Page Boy, I'll correct it to you. What? Something to drink, I don't know. A drink. <laughs> Food. <laughs> We're going to lose to this guy. I don't know. Your dog? My dog's following me into the bathroom. 
Oh my god, dude. Um, it's gonna be something American. Oh, your bathrobe? Bathrobe. Oh. We're just Hand, losing points. And soap? So, so she would already be in there. I We're just know. bleeding points know. right now. I don't think we beat this guy. Okay, we gotta fucking. Call we it. bled way too many points there. <laughs> okay, what were they? Comb and brush, towel, and purse. You bring your. Oh, okay, yeah. Public, public. Maybe we should have thought public. I was thinking like in your own house. Oh I my start. god, we beat him by one point. We get to play fast money. Woo! All right, fast, fast money time. Fast a fun round. Name something you don't want to do when you're exhausted. Work. <laughs> Name Exercise? something that some people are afraid oh. to ride on or in. Horse. Horse. Nice. Name a food that gets sliced. Pizza. Oh. Name something that could be made of gold in a billionaire's bathroom. Toilet. Toilet. Oh. Name something people do to cows that the cows might object to. What? Milk them. Milk. It's probably branding. Oh, yeah. Br Sorry. Work. It was cooked. Of course, airplane was number one. Of course, oh. we got four points. Pizza only got four points. Bread got his number one. Woo! Toilet was first. Woo! Milk was first. Not mm, brand. Hey. Wow. Mm. I think we got more points in that than we did in the other game. That was good. Woo! All right. That's a fun game. We got to bring that back. I enjoy that. We got to move on, though. We Whoa. definitely got it. And now Whoa. it's time for... Mariah and Ty's Hall, Hall of Fame. Fame. Mariah and Ty's Hall of Fame. So, guys, we've got a tie for the Hall of Fame. Mariah's glasses. Let's go already! <laughs> You're like, please, let's go. Nice. Um, Mariah's glasses and Ty's pinata tied. So they both go to the Hall of Fame. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty wow. good. Wow. Sam, your feeling didn't win, hey? Crazy. A negative feeling didn't win? Who could have seen that coming? Well, now it's time for Mariah and Ty's review of, of the, the week. week. It's time for Mariah and Ty's review of the week. All right, Mariah, what do you got? What do I got? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to review this, but it's going to be a two-parter because I have yet to actually do it myself, but I'm just going off of the, the basis of what my fiance told me. Um, I'm going to review the town of Scottsdale. Been there before. <laughs> I've had a great time every based time I've gone. <laughs> so based <laughs> of, off what your fiance yeah, said. Yeah, he just went, okay, last weekend for his bachelor party. so you're party. reviewing it. I'm reviewing it. Okay. I trust his opinion, said it was a great time. He told me, girls on bachelorette parties there get bottle service for free. Shut the fuck up. Can you believe that? So now when I go in two weeks, after you come back from your vacation, I'm going to follow up on my part two review of it and see how it goes. All right. So you don't have, it's a pending score. It's a pending score. Yeah. It's a precursor. All right. Well, Sam, do you have anything? <laughs> um, I do. What? <laughs> So uh, I went to Ice Cube, mentioned it a little earlier. Let's I am go. not going to lie. I was very impressed by Mr. Cube. He brings it. Like, he crips yeah. on, crip walks on stage and shit, yeah. Yeah, and I, like, I don't know. Like, maybe it's because, like, rap is more, like, uh, like speaking. Like, you're not singing as much. Dude sounded like he did when he was, like, 25. Like, he sounded great. It yeah. was crazy. He puts on a show. He really, he really gives it up there. I couldn't believe, too, like, day of the show. Went to go look at tickets when we got these ones. Three hundred. Yeah, people want to see the Ice Cube. It man. was crazy. He could probably fill a bigger venue, but I think he always likes to do a slightly smaller venue because he likes to, like interact with the crowd and shit. Well, you want that like hype experience, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, Ice Cube, ten out of ten, man. Like, I'm not a big rap fan, but he he killed was, it. He fucking killed it. It's it was like a awesome. bucket list guy. You got to see, you know. Yeah. People went nuts when he played the NWA stuff. Like crazy. It was awesome. Um, I'll review my Nanolan art. <laughs> Pretty this much my good. new digital um, drawing tablet, which has been working pretty good. So it's one's up on our Facebook page here. Sam, you can post whatever you want. 
I uh, like the Nanolan one for Stampede. How many reacts did that get as of filming? 75 right now, Damn, baby. Dude. We should use that as like a ploy to try and get her to the Stampede. Dude, Nanolan don't want to talk to us. I tagged her and she didn't even repost it. She's I sent a busy an email. lady. She's a busy lady. Mona yeah. is very Mona's busy. Mona's in demand. Well, Nanolan's hot right now, so it's a good chance to showcase that. Uh, what did you guys think of the beers? I really like the artwork. I like the taste, but I just, I can't, I it, you know, this type of beer is just a little intense for me, but I do think it is uh, very nice. They they figured out the the artwork and the taste of it. Like, it tastes exactly how they describe it on the can. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 from Dark Wood, the Dark Woods Morning Wood Amber Ale from Innisfail. Very delicious. Sam? Like the man on the front, I pitched a tent over it. It was great. 10 wow, out of 10. dirty. It was good. Honestly, like the artwork is 10 out of 10. And like for Amber Ales, that might be the best one I've ever had. So highly recommend. You heard it here first, folks. Thanks, thanks for uh, buying that one, Mariah. Do we have anything we have to say now that we're, we've wrapped it up? The phone number. Oh, oh Call my the God, phone number. Mariah, grab that phone wait, wait, number. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. We, Jeez, uh, I will say while we're doing this. <laughs> you can email us at xafternoons at x929.ca. I have it. All right, let's hear it. one 340 See, I got it short now. All right, well, uh, <laughs> see everybody next week. Bye. What you say. Oh, Ty signing off. That you only meant well. Cause you did mm, what you said. Jason Derulo. Mm, is this the whole song? Oh no, it's not. Okay. See ya. You've been listening to After Hours with Mariah and Ty. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of After Hours with Mariah and Ty downloaded weekly to whatever device you use.